I'm here with Dr. Jay Cotri, who's uh, an interventional cardiologist with a, uh, a specialty in opening up 100% completely occluded coronary arteries. And so we want to talk with you a little bit about uh, this procedure. So for, for, from the pr perspective of a patient uh, who maybe has been told they have a completely blocked artery, which of those patients are really good candidates for for having this specialized procedure to open up that that totally occluded vessel. Sure. So the patients that we see and advise to have these procedures done are patients that are debilitated by symptoms. Yeah. Patients who are fatigued, short of breath, chest pain with activity, yeah. even if they're on all the right medications prescribed by their doctor, those are good candidates. Yeah. And they generally you expect people to be treated with the usual routine medications first and if they still aren't not doing well uh, then this is an option yeah and um, I think many people will be a little bit curious as to how do you how do you open one of these arteries how do you open up a totally occluded artery something that's completely blocked yeah it's it's uh, it's a field that's advanced over the last 10 to 15 years and the success rates seem to be improving year after year with yeah. the techniques that we've developed yeah but it has to do with getting a wire either through the blockage or around the blockage. And sometimes we do it the normal way by knocking on the front door. Sometimes we have to go backwards to the natural bypasses. We call them collaterals, the natural bypasses that are grown to get to the other side, to get to the back door. Yeah. Sometimes we go along the side of the blockage and punch our way back in with wires, so through the side door. So there's multiple yeah. ways to do it. It's just they all require special techniques and equipment to do. Are these procedures being done in every uh, center that does coronary intervention? They are not. They are very specialized, as I'm alluding to. They require a lot of special training and techniques uh, and special equipment that aren't always going to be stocked in, yeah. in community hospitals. Yeah. But there certainly are large community hospitals that do these, these procedures. But generally, it's done in specialty centers. Yeah. And what should people expect? I mean, you know, is the success rate uh, high? Are you able to get a lot of these arteries open and relieve the symptoms? It is dramatically improved over the last 10 to 15 years, where we were quoting patients 60% success. Currently, we're in the 85 to 90% success rate yeah. on these procedures. Yeah. Which patients who have a 100% blockage should not undergo this procedure? Well, that there's a there's a I think that the simplest way to think about this, if you feel well, if you're getting along, you really don't need one of these procedures because there's some risk of complication with doing one of these things. And if you're feeling well, you're really not going to really gain much from doing this other than some risk. Yeah. You're really looking to do this for people who, in their normal activities of daily living, are getting into trouble. They're having chest pain. They get very short of breath. They're unable to you know, do things. And I know some of the people I've, we've sent you, you know, people can't, can't walk to the mailbox and get their right. mail without getting chest right. pain and getting short of breath. And right. those are clearly ideal patients. Right. But if people can get out and exercise and they may have a total blockage, but they're probably not needing this higher risk procedure. Yeah. It, it can be a little subtle. I mean, that's the textbook example of somebody that needs it fixed because they're yeah. getting chest pain. Yeah. But there are patients that are tremendously fatigued, they don't have energy, they need a nap all the time, and they have a blocked artery, and their yeah. doctor has shown them that the heart muscle is not damaged. Yeah. It's less clear in those patients, but with the right testing, we can give them advice as yeah. well. Whether it can and you help. get some specialized imaging tests that help you confirm yes. that these are patients that are going to benefit. Yes. Uh, and so you're looking for people really who, who have all the the factors that predict success, uh, that are likely to have a, have a high benefit and, a, and an acceptable risk, and, and those are people you can go ahead and do this on. Right, right. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you are one of those patients, uh, you know, Dr. Cotri is uh, happy to see you.